Hey everybody, uh, I'm back with another Jurassic World review, and on this review, we are going to be, be reviewing the Habitat Defender Triceratops. This thing is huge, you guys. I bought this off eBay. If anybody asks me where I got this from, I'm literally going to delete your comment. I got this off of eBay. I do not know when this is coming in. I am tired of you kids telling, asking me where I got it, when 90% of the time, I usually tell you guys where I get them from. So, and this is not real feel. This is hard plastic, they lied. Pro C told me it was real feel. There's the barcode for those who want it. Um, there's the back of the box. Made it, make an impact. Product made from 60% ISCC certified plastic, which I really don't care what this thing is made of. I just want a giant trike. Something that we've been wanting for the longest time now. A bigger trike. And don't you worry, we will compare this to all of the different Triceratops figures. And some other Ceratopsians. Actually, I'm going to get all the Ceratopsians off the shelf. At least I will definitely try to. Um, oh, man. This is going to be fun to unbox. Like, the tail's got to be put in. And there's a lot to open. Because usually I just cut open all the, all the tape and all this and that. Because there's one more. Um, I am in trucks in the other room, a different room than this, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this unless I find time to go and do it, which I will usually try. Because I'm trying to, I'm only trying to keep the box in somewhat good condition because it's like a sport. Okay, there's the tail. Wow, that is huge. I bet you there's a twisty thing. They really want you to tear this box open. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna have to... Did I take a picture of the box? No, I didn't, but I did on the other phone. Pretty sure I did. Um, I can probably take a picture real quick. Alright. Um, sorry, this is taking a while to unbox. I just... Wow, there's three. They really put three of them on this. And that, there's no fourth one. Oh, wow, they didn't. This is going to kill my OCD. Alright, assembly is... Oh, no, I'm going to get all the hair off. Alright. Yeah, this we finally got a larger tricing. There. Oh, yes, this is nice. It's my new baby. Alright, I am already in love with this. Um, the beak cannot close as well as I thought, but it's alright. They, they never could close all the way. Alright, let's take a look at the body. Uh, the overall sculpt. Similar to Hammond Clutch and Triceratops, but it basically upsized. With the articulated jaw, that's why it can't close all the way. Cause they, I'm just gonna leave it open for the rest of, for the rest of the video. Come on, I'm waiting for this pop up to go away before I can hit the flash. There. So the basic color on the body is a your standard brown. It looks like there's a little bit of a slightly different shading of brown around the face and. For a big one like this, I would really hope that they paint the pupils, but they kind of didn't. You know what? I can still do a shelf tour. I can... Well, I already uploaded this, so it's too late. Oh well. So the the horns are made of a are painted, so they the, the paint will rub off. They're made of a softer plastic. I'd say most of the head is made of a softerish plastic, but you can't really bend it too much. Um. The eyes are orange. This is a, again, I'm so happy that we have this figure. 
I'm just happy that they even made a, a larger trike. Uh, they actually painted the tongue inside the mouth, the inside the beak. It's all painted that beige, but it doesn't really close all the way. Unless you like push it really hard, and even then, that's probably as best as it goes. Um, well, so you got these large scales, and I like how they painted some of them. Um, I would maybe like if they painted them too, and maybe the ones on the arms, but other than that, I'm not going to complain. Let's get some of the hair off. The dogs, there's three dogs living here. There's hair everywhere. I'm sure some of you guys can relate. You got some of this beige, sandish color going from all over, from the even on the head, which is really nice. It goes all the way down to the end of the tail, and it's actually... A lot of it is its own piece of plastic. Like, you can see here, there's a big seam. But, like, over here and over there, there's paint. Um, the frill, it's got a dark band of brown that you can barely see around it. And, um, what else is there? Oh, we gotta go over the articulation. And, yes, the scan code. So, very basic articulation for if the dinosaur arms they cannot go out and in like that um the hips cannot move the legs move back and forth like this all of them can there's no foot twisting articulation the tail's on a ball joint which is nice i kind of like the ball joint it helps i'm pretty sure this is on right i'm just Trying to figure it out which way this thing exactly goes. I see some scales on the tail, so I'm assuming it goes like that. Look, yeah, it goes like that. That's a huge scan code. Let me fix the legs now. Here's the scan code. For those who need it. Oh, let me turn the flash off for you. There you go. That's that's good. That's good enough. So. Now, let's compare it. There's going to be a lot of neat stuff to compare this to. So, obviously, as I said, and I just knocked off a good chunk of the shelf. So, this is the Habitat Defender Trike. The brand new one. Let's turn the flash on real quick. Here's the Roarvor Trike. Actually, let's put the head up. I like the heads up. Here's the Triceratops. And now... I'm going to pause. Alright, this is going to be a longer video because I'm going to try to show it off with all the, the one of each species of ceratops and here's the battle damage triceratops. A little peewee. Like, just so you know, they're not really babies. They're not juvenile. They're just scaled down versions of the original. Let's compare these two together. This thing doesn't even stand up to its knee. This thing is so big. Take a couple pictures like that. Alright, now I'm going to pause, and then we're going to compare it to every Ceratopsian that was made by Mattel. Alright, I have all the different Ceratopsians made by Mattel. Now I'm like 99% sure I got every single one. So we have one of each. Species, so I'm not including the other trikes in this scale. We have the Microceratus. Now, before you say, what about the Stygimoloch and the mother three or two? They're not Ceratopsians. They're in the same air grouping family, but I'm just showing off the ones with the horns and frills. We got Microceratus Protoceratops, um, Ineosaurus, Zuni Ceratops, Cosmos, uh, Styracosaurus, then Cosmoceratops. Pachyrhinosaurus. Don't even say Sinoceratops. Uh, Nasutoceratops. Diapoceratops. I'll show them from the front. All of them in the front. Oh, there's a lot Diapoceratops. Regaliceratops. Sinoceratops. Pentaceratops. And finally, Triceratops. The biggest one they've made yet. If they, I swear to gosh, if they make a Tor a Torosaurus and it's this size, I'm gonna be mad. They need to make it at least this size. 
So, that's the end. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I am such a dingus. Alright, so let's move these off to the side. Let's be a little careful. I don't want to scrape them. That's why I'm only doing two at a time. Remember getting the sign of Ceratops saying it's too big. Here is the Hammond Collection Trike. Next to this new Habitat Trike. It's better. The Hammond one's got more posability. I'd say it has some better paint apps than the other one. But I also really like the paint apps on the new trike. I prefer the size. I prefer the sculpt. I prefer the look. And the articulated beak. So. I'm still a little bummed out that this beak won't close all the way. Alright. And I suppose I shall show one more thing with it. I suppose we shall compare it with the Hammond Rex. The best Rex. Um, here it is. Um, I'm trying, guys. Side by side like that. There you go. This is the Hammond Cl I mean, Habitat Defender Triceratops. If you enjoyed this review, I'm definitely not the first. I don't expect this getting past 100. So, if you guys are new here, please subscribe. I do multiple types of content on this channel. So... If you don't like them, don't watch them. You can watch just dinosaur videos all you want. I'm not going to stop you. I should have waited on the shelter. This would have been nice to have. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day and peace.